Okay, so I just shot the video of that unit, and here's Jeff, the owner, and I just wanted to ask Jeff to kind of introduce himself and then give us uh, some additional information on this. Yeah, uh, Jeff Moyers, I work with Tax Outdoors. We manufacture off-the-grid, overland, lightweight travel trailers. This particular unit right here is called the Manus. This is our top of the line. It's a Manus Overland uh, edition. It weighs only 3,400 pounds. So as you can imagine, that just about any vehicle can tow this particular unit. Small, it's 19 feet long. And all over the units that we have, from the smallest one up to this unit, they're all garageable. So I'm you're not that. paying any, any towing or any storage fees or whatnot. Wow. Yeah. We currently have a, 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 a very strong following in the United States. We've got some user groups and whatnot that travel all over units and we're uh, we're excited about the opportunity as the overland market and off-grid market continues to grow in this particular industry it's the only market that is growing currently and you mentioned that the gentleman that designed it worked for nasa it did yeah the gentleman that first came out with the design of uh, of these units his name is garrett finney garrett was a, was previously an architect for nasa and he designed living spaces for the astronauts and he wanted to design something that was efficient, functional for his family, it had to be garageable. His kids were young at the time, and he wasn't enamored with what was currently out in the market, and he turned around and designed a unit called the Cricket. And friends and, and, and whatnot saw the unit and asked if he could design something for them, and a business was born out of his garage. And this is Cricket 5.0, 5.1. Well, this is actually the this is the, the 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 unit that's a step up. We still have the Cricket, which is the model down. Okay. Um, in size wise, but this is the Mantis, which is the which is our top of the line unit, our largest unit. It's fascinating. I just, the more you look at it, the more you just. It catches a lot of attention. Is it? Yeah. I'm out on the road, and if I stop somewhere, I have people coming up to me asking me about it all the time. And I have a microphone on you and one on me, so I'm going to walk around, but we'll still pick up your voice. Okay. And when you're driving, Jeff, do you feel, it just feels like uh, no big deal, I no, guess. No, at you, don't even, you don't even feel it behind you. So, the, so it has a 360 lock and roll hitch on it that, that, that makes it the track real nice behind the vehicle. It has the Timbren independent suspension underneath. Rides a little bit higher because it's the Overland model with that timber suspension. It's got the 16 inch, the 16 inch Goodyear tires. I noticed the wheels. Rides yeah. Really nice. And it, it, this unit, it'll go anywhere. I've never seen the. Uh, I've ever everything I've ever seen has been the ball and hitch. I've never seen a hitch like that. Yeah, it's got 360, so 360 degree pivot. So it it just makes the vehicle, the the unit ride really nice behind the vehicle. Oh, I bet. Yeah, especially when you go into off-road terrain, yep. it can uh, torque and, and camber and twist. I was fascinated by the door design and to see just the, uh, I'm sure that just all reduces the weight, but just the unique. This is an this is a, a, a aluminum with a foam core, as you can see right here. Okay. It's That's what makes it so light. Yes. Is the aluminum. Yes. But as you can see on the construction, the, high quality construction right the first thing that folks talk about with these units is the quality of the construction they don't fall apart yeah really amazing well jeff i really appreciate uh, just a couple of questions is this the the this folds down into a bed then those actually turn into bunk beds oh really yes with a, they, they have a capacity of 185 pounds each, but yes, they turn into bunk, bed, bunk beds. As you can see, there's a flex space over here. Yes. That can be a cassette toilet. The box is in the back, okay. but that slides out. But that's a shower right there that folds down, and you can put a curtain up. So there's an indoor shower the, and an outdoor shower. So this here folds down into a shower. It does. Wow. It does. That folds down. Let me, let me step up here. I'll, I'll pull it out. Let's take a quick look. Yeah. I saw the uh, compact toilet, the box in the back there. Yeah, this slides down, and as you can see, <laughs> there's an indoor shower. You can put a shower curtain up. Yes. Right there. Of course, we have a variable truma for a hot water heater and a heater for the unit. Yes. 
you can see that w w we love the modular storage. Yes. Very easy to replace if they get broken because the kids will put toys and whatnot in their own basket. And if these get broken, they're easy to replace. Yeah. Functionality is what we believe in. And I noticed all the intricate cutouts, so I'm sure things drop in there or fold in. He designed that, as you can see, all yes. the holes around that he put he, that are put in the metal. It's for hanging. Functionality is key. No wasted space in these units. Yes. And uh, do you have a retail price on it? Yeah, the MSRP on this particular unit is sixty nine. Sixty nine hundred dollars. Sixty nine thousand. Sixty nine thousand dollars. <laughs> I knew it wasn't 6900 but I, I had to ask. I understand. Yeah. Just amazing. I'm going to go around and shoot the uh, box that the compact toilet is in. Sure. Doesn't have a black water tank. It's got a 20-gallon 20, 20 fresh water tank, 16-gallon gray water tank. And does the black go into the gray, or what is it? Oh, no, we don't have a black water tank. You just you know, oh, you... the, cassette, the cassette toilet. Yes. And then this is the uh, bedding here for the it is. the parents in this case. Yeah, the, 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 that base, just a quick unscrew, pops out, and that, that top will come off and slide right down in there, and you put a pad on top. Yes. Other folks, we have folks that'll put that'll put a mattress pad down too. That's real easy to carry. Of course, we've got a 12 volt cooler right here. Yeah. A I... cooler that plugs in down here. The only thing that needs shore power is the is the air conditioner. Yes. It slides out. So you can you stow it while you're while you're traveling, but it slides out with the cover up on the outside when you're when you're stationed. Yeah. Of course it has solar, solar off the side. These are, these units are are so lightweight and compact that, that they put them in the shade and then they run the they run the, the solar, solar off to the out, side out so in the sun. Keep power. Yeah. Really interesting. Well thank you so much, Jeff. Sure. I appreciate you taking the time and uh, explaining things, walking us through, because it's fascinating. All right, well, leave a comment, question below, and I'll catch you on the next video.